mayor, I would advocate for the federal government and the FBI to take over this project. I believe that our town is too small for a multi-billion dollar project. The temptation for corruption and cheating and mismanagement has been too high. It's why it was the council that finally said, we have had enough, and we started the audit of Hart. And we found a lot of inefficiencies, mistakes that a high school person would make, not a person that makes six figures that's supposed to lead this project. So I believe, with all of my constituents that are suffering so much, that these people who have wasted their money should go to jail. I am hopeful and looking forward to the federal investigation being over. I believe that the federal government at this point on must take over this project and have someone from the FBI on the ground at heart every day, manage, helping to manage the project and making sure that all ethics are followed. Hanneman, you got us here. Half my constituents are suffering because of what you just said, that only tourism is the only solution. You have been saying this since you were the head of DBED, and I have looked in the eyes of my constituents who can't eat right now. And we have the ability to in improve our economy, to not just tourism. I'm not saying get rid of it. I'm saying diversify our economy. I have situations where in six months, we can get alternative agriculture with new inventions that will heal people with products that are in demand around the world, a multi-billion dollar economy that we can start going in six months. And you haven't even looked at that. We can reopen as soon as possible if we can keep people safe. In early March, I was the first elected official to say that for tourism to survive in Hawaii again, we have to protest tourists. And they should pay for it. We have for too long depended on one part of our economy to rule everything. And because of people just saying more, 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 more tourists, we are in a situation where half my district is unemployed. And that is unacceptable to me. People have been given warnings to tourism leaders saying that we are depending too much on you. We are funding too much of you uh, from the state government and the city government. And it's time to diversify our economy. I have been working with leaders from all over the world in other countries where they hardly closed down their economy at all. And they had very low death. South Korea is a great example. They had the first COVID test first COVID situation the same time America did. And they said, we're not going to completely close down our economy. We're going to make sure that our health care system is prepared. We are going to make sure that we can test people appropriately who want to have tests. We're going to attract them and trace them, but they have to give permission first. We, we are in America, especially. We don't do things like that without people's permission. We can train 200 people in two days not weeks like what has been told to us by the government here. We have had testimony at the city council that in two days from Dr. Miskovich, you can train 200 people to test our system and to follow people who are sick. And I have to disagree with Bud. This is not like this, Lou. As the only elected official currently uh, running for mayor, I have seen up close some of the highest cases of COVID in my district. And I had to witness a young, healthy, strong man who worked at a hotel almost die and slowly deteriorate. That was not the flu. So I have taken this very personal that we must diversify our economy. We can diversify our economy. We just need people in the tourism industry to stop fighting us. We don't have to go back to what we had before. We are all at risk of losing our job again. We can open our economy very soon. It's just going to take the will of leadership to get it done.